<clears throat> Welcome to the unboxing of the Water Buffalo Bible from CBP, Church Bible Publishers. I've been holding on to this for a little while now, and uh, it's time to open it up. I'm ready to start reading it. I've never had an exotic animal Bible, so this should be good. I don't know if Water Buffalo is exactly exotic. I guess you could consider it. That. I guess you could. I'm going to consider it exotic to me because I don't have anything that's water buffalo. Oh, okay. Something new here. What's this? Oh, it gives a little calendar. I love that. Huh. Nice. I guess it's a sticker. Yep, sticky. And you can put a little calendar. That's kind of cool. 2019 calendar. Okay, packing slip. I'm gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the box. Something else in the box. Now, we have. Mid size, center column, red letter, water buffalo. In other words, the turquoise mid size with a red letter. That's gonna be good. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Well, I'm glad it's brown. You know, from the video, they showed, you know, a really light brown one. And then. When they got their covers, their official covers, it wasn't light brown anymore. It was almost black looking in their video. But I'll tell you what, this is this is a dark brown. Definitely brown. Good, I'm glad. Got a lot of black Bibles. I wanted a brown one. Oh man. This is supposed to be their premium line now. Okay. They're nipping at the heels of R.L. Allen and others. Produce a Bible. You don't need to run to them and pay double. Let's see what we got here. It's supposed to be gold with red art gilding. I can already see that art gilding through the gold. Nice. All right. A unique feel to it. Oh yeah, it doesn't feel like any of the previous leathers I've had. Well, that's really good. That's nice. Whew. It's not as the softest leather, but it's not by any means a hard leather. It feels, it feels rugged almost. That's neat. Interesting. Like leather. Had a little different, distinct smell to it, though. Not quite like cowhide. Huh. The hubs done nicely. I really like that gray pattern. It's not perimeter stitched like the other ones. They went with a paste down. Style, but the inner liner is a cowhide, distressed like the cover. I don't know if you can see that. It's really good. And the corners are really nicely done. Oh, yeah. Three gold ribbons, yellow and black tail bands. Good Bible. What is good looking Bible? Let's see what she looks like open. Yes, there's a faint salmon heart gilding, which is really nice. Well, this is a nice Bible. I'm really happy about it now. Let's see. Let's see if 
the red letter looks like. Oh, looks good. Yeah. I'm gonna bring it over here. Get a better look at it here. Okay. It's a red letter. Go ahead, start from the beginning. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Inside cover, corner one, corner two, see that distressed leather, it's edge lined, okay, oh, oh yeah, there it is, that first piece is glued together, do not tear that apart, okay, and we're into it. It's a new card. Kind of like this. Okay. King James. Church Bible Puffer Series. ChurchKVAT.com. There's a reference number for the Water Buffalo Turquoise Edition Midsize Red Letter. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take out the ribbons. Start by that. There's three three eighths ribbons in this edition. There she be. Third one. Right there, that's a good job. Okay, that's what it looks like with the ribbons out. This is a beautiful Bible. That is beautiful. Oh, what a sweet book. Gilding. Perfectly done. Perfectly centered. Yeah. Let's get to the... We have the... The Kotori and the translation translator to the reader. It's all here. Well, this font is really large. I think it's like 11 is what it's supposed to be. 11 point font. And there's the first book. That's what I like. It's text. Nicely spaced. Look at the spacing between the words. How much spacing there is, and when they when they add a note, a number for the notes, or for the references, I should say, look at the spacing on that. Makes everything nice and easy to read. Now, if you notice, it's right out of the box. It's not just going to lay flat on me, but I imagine with a little work in. It will. This leather is pretty tough, in other words. But see now, look, there it goes. Nice and flat. Yeah. This book is nice. <clears throat> now it sells for about $125 on the uh, 
CVP website. <coughs> uh, if you really like premium Bibles, you should have one of these. Usually you'd have to spend some crazy money to have someone rebind your Bible and water buffalo. Something like that. This is a great price for a great Bible. And uh, you're familiar with this text box. You can look that up at all if you want. But I will show you. I will show you the back portion. portion. Here we got concordance. Generous concordance. And we have notes not lined. Just note paper. Same style paper as the Bible. There's plenty of them. Not a lot of room for note taking. You have your map index right there and the maps. Maps are nice. I like it when you can read the words. This is a good size Bible. This is a mid size. This, this is nice. Yep, this one's in the rotation now. I'm going to start reading this one. I like it. Okay, then we have some more cardstock in the back for notes. Oh, a few more. Bam. A liner. Corner number three. And corner number four. And then the stamping. Genuine grade A, double A leather. Water buffalo. Nice. Okay, let's be it for my unboxing and reveal. I may do a, a glamour shot and a glamour video with a little music. Later on, I don't know if you guys like this or not, but uh, yeah, this is a really nice Bible. I really like the feel of this. Huh. Interesting. That's it. All right. Enjoy.